So now let's see how we can enable and disable uh, viewport overlays and then look at the X-ray mode that is available inside of Blender. So over here you can see that I have a cube and then I can move around by clicking on the middle mouse button right here. So in order to enable and disable the viewport overlays, you have to go over here. Uh, well, which you hover over, it says overlays right here. If you were to click on the overlay, you can see that everything disappears altogether. Click on it and then everything appears right here. You can control each of the overlays individually by going over here on this little icon. So once you click on it, you can see that you have all of these um, a viewport overlay. So you can enable and disable the floor as you can see right here. You can enable and disable the axis right here. So right now you can see that there's um, no line whatsoever. But if I were to click on the axis, you see the axis for all of the lines. So this is something that is very, very uh, useful. So if I were to go over here and you can go around over here and then you can scale out uh, the grid over there as well. You can go around and then work around with these values as you can see right here. You can scale it down or scale it up. You can enable and disable the text info as well. So just like this, you can see that this is the text info. You can enable and disable the 3D cursor, the annotations, statistics. You can enable the statistics over there if you want more details regarding this. And then you can work around with objects. So let's say, for example, if I were to click on extras, you can see that camera is there. Regarding other things, there are not much of the things available on my uh, viewport. So we don't really see a difference. But over here in the geometry, we can go ahead and enable out the wireframe, as you can see. And then we can uh, decrease the level and increase the level of the wireframe over here as well. So right now, there's not much mess to work with. So you don't really uh, see much of it, but you can see that there's an outline right there whenever we enable a wireframe right there. Then we also have the face orientation in order to see like your faces right here might be uh, in different directions. So as you model uh, more objects that you, you might be more familiar with this, so you, so you can work around with this one as well. And then you can work around uh, with enabling the camera path and motion tracking over here as well. So if you can disable the wireframe, enable and so forth and work around with all of these. So now what you see is you see the face and it's covering up the back. So it is um, uh, looking uh, it is not transparent whatsoever. But you can make it transparent by clicking on this icon right here, which enables x-rays. And you can see that you can see the behind as well. So now let's do this. Let's just go, uh, go ahead and enable the wireframe right here. And here you can see the wireframe behind as well. If I were to go over here and click on uh, this one toggle x-ray, you don't see the back. But if I were to click on this, you see the back as well. So this makes it for an easier workflow whenever you're working with complex models and you want to see uh, what is at the back as well. And that is how you can enable and disable viewport overlays and then uh, enable and disable the x-ray mode inside of Blender. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.